604 right now. A local group on Oahu is speaking out about the increase of pedestrian accidents and deaths this year. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Alamoana Beach Park with the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. Yes, and some of these cases just this year involve our children. There was just one yesterday over in the Kailua area of a 10 year old girl who was a motorized bike um, who crashed into a tile wall. She's in critical condition in a hospital in the area. And there was also another case of an eighth grader who died on an e bike. And that was just a few weeks ago. And in here to share the response of what we've been seeing lately, we have Lori, who's executive director of the Hawaii Bison League. Good morning, Lori. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on this important topic. So first of all, what are your thoughts on just the increase of accidents and, and fatalities that we've been seeing on our roadways this year? So what we've been seeing, I think, first of all, for those families, our biggest condolences. And, you know, that's really sad to see. Nobody wants to see a child or anybody gets hurt. Yeah. Um, I think that what we're seeing here is we're seeing more people using new kinds of uh, mobility devices, which is good. You know, we want people to be able to have options to cars, look at the gas, look at gas prices, look at those things. So people are looking at different things, including kids. It's important that they understand how to operate them. Uh, we are going to be holding some e-bike classes, and so that might be something that people want to look into by going to hbl.org. But the responsibilities, uh, a lot of it's on um, motorists and on our infrastructure. Um, in Honolulu, we don't have as many safe places to bike as you might like or to use things. Uh, our roads are built for cars. And so that's where you see more people out in the roads or doing things that aren't necessarily as safe as they might be. And the environment's very unique right now because not only restrictions have been lifted, but we're also seeing tourists come back as well in a full force. But um, as far as the responsibility goes, I know you mentioned the drivers, but does it fall kind of everywhere in a way with cyclists and pedestrians? What can we all do better to avoid situations like this? I think one of the things is nobody wants to hit somebody and hurt somebody, and nobody wants to get hit or hurt. So what do we do? Uh, the responsibility is on both sides. Um, for a pedestrian or a motorist, just being aware, or, or a, a cyclist, just being aware of where you are and not assuming that if you're that you're safe i think you always have to think about that there is danger out there for motorists i think everybody is uh, aware that there's more distractions and we also see people moving more quickly uh, since the pandemic i think during that time when there wasn't much traffic people speed it up and people aren't operating their vehicles at the speed limits they're going much faster so responsibilities on both sides but a bicycle or a pedestrian won't kill somebody in a car, but somebody in a car couldn't kill somebody in a bicycle or walking. Laura, you're going to be joining us for the 630. Thank you so much for your time. We'll be talking about some protective gear that cyclists and pedestrians can wear, especially during the early hours like this in the evening hours where it is a little bit dark and sometimes a little bit hard for drivers to see their surroundings. And we'll also talk about some bridges and crosswalks and new street lights over here in the area as well. But for more details, as to what we've been following, you can visit our website at KH12.com. Reporting here at Alamoana Beach Park, Dallas and Averroes, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Dallas, thank you. 608 right now. Coming up next, we're working for Hawaii with a live look at those roads and your new work week forecast. And over in our nation's capital.